So our next guest speaker is Mr. Nuik Ifani Green. He's with he, here with Agatha uh, LGA Washcom. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'm very glad to be here today. And uh, I'm very glad to be here on this World Toilet Day. I'm also representing Nigeria. You, as you can see, my material, I'm a member of WASHCOM and the Agbata Local Government Area WASHCOM Federation Chairman. We've been involved in a uh, safe sanitation program uh, by the European Union and uh, uh, UNICEF, uh, other international NGOs and locals. But uh, I want to go straight to the challenges because uh, most of us have seen these issues here towards sanitation. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, Please so continue. so so the, the the major challenges is the uh, uh, attitude of the locals towards challenge uh, towards uh, sanitation matters. We our people are uh, uh, in, in different communities in our uh, villages. Uh, there are still people who are practicing uh, OD, this open defecation. But in 2019, what toilet the, the president of Nigeria made a declaration and order that Nigeria got, uh, entire uh, communities were supposed to be uh, ODF by 2025. So we as Washcom, we are very, very glad on this uh, declaration and uh, uh, order by the presidency. We now started moving into communities and started engaging the, 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 the traditional rulers, the, the youth uh, uh, organizations, the women wing organizations, because we have discovered that the, the major issue is not just only about sensitization, it's getting the right people on board, because uh, uh, talking to the locals most times requires the consent of uh, uh, most of these uh, 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 leaders. Uh, so therefore, we, we, we now started uh, moving into house to house uh, 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 sanction uh, 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 inspections, and then we later took it to schools, to organizations, and now even to the town union level, to the extent that even at burial ceremonies, we announce this uh, sanitation uh, matters and the, the, the need for our people to overcome OD practice. And then just like uh, it has been released, there are over 40 million people in Nigeria that are still practicing OD. It's a, it's a very high one, but, but we are really working on it as wash comes. You see, but I want to let you understand that uh, a lot of uh, 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 solutions have been designed for this. Uh, one of it is that we, 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 we looked at it that it will, it will make more sense to move into, uh, take this matter into the education sector. You understand? One of the solutions I have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have put it down on the table. If we can get the sanitation uh, uh, project into our schools curriculum, that will solve this problem from any part of the world. Let the world be part of taking this sanitation matter into education curriculum from primary school, secondary college, and the university. That will solve a very big problem that this generation and the next coming generation will be aware of these struggles. Not just sensitizing people, and then each generation that's coming on board, we keep sensitizing them. Uh, uh, some of them will not be sensitized, but the schools, there are schools everywhere from nursery, secondary, there's school everywhere. Let's get this into education curriculum. That will solve one big problem. So uh, another one is, uh, okay, uh, if you watch on this, uh, if, you, if you watch on these slides, you, you will see some pictures of what you've been doing. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, okay, yeah, it's coming up. If you watch on these slides, you see some pictures of what you've been doing. And uh, another one is uh, like I have made, I have not, uh, Charlie mentioned is uh, getting the sanitary, the government to sponsor sanitation marketing. If the government can sponsor sanitation marketing, private sectors will come in. The, 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 the public sectors will come in. Then there will be funding for that, for WASHCOM. And also, I, 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 if you look at it, we also see it as a solution that let government create a separate ministry for WASH, that's water sanitation, and hygiene, a separate ministry for wash or wash com. If they can create a separate ministry for wash or wash com in every government of the world, you find out that either a separate ministry or department, whatever they choose to call it, let there be something like that in every government of the world, so that the the, 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 the every government of uh, every country will include wash or wash com into their uh, 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 yearly budget. Once they include into their yearly budget, wash will be funded. 
And what is funded? Sanitation is something that affects all of us. If a community is still practicing OD and another community has been satisfied ODF, the same communities that have been satisfied ODF is still in trouble because a, a, a house fly from a, a community practicing OD by just an individual can take a, a disease, can take disease to another community and the other household. It means that everybody's in trouble. If we don't achieve this sanitation for all, everybody's in trouble. Our water body is in trouble. Everything about us is in trouble. So that is why it is a very nice thing for us to make sure that this uh, 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 wash and uh, this wash or wash comp has a separate ministry or department. That will go a long way to solve the problem. I don't know why we finally before to get the pictures. I want to get the pictures of our activities so that you see how we've been engaging government, engaging community leaders, engaging uh, 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 Engaging the youth, Leo, the picture that yeah, so many people so that can you can you, you can hear me right? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Look at these pictures. You look at these pictures. You see our uh, house to house visit to communities, uh, and then creating toilets for for uh, cheap toilets, as not just cheap but affordable toilets that is hygienic. And then you see our activities with. Uh, 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 at different levels, both at state level and then uh, uh, like you see this one, uh, this person is, uh, is the consultant of the Nigerian Federal Ministry of Water Resources and uh, there is a lot of them people who have been doing this work for so long but we discovered for this to be engaged, they must be involved. The stakeholders of uh, sanitation must be involved. The, the, the community leaders must be involved. The youth must be involved. Everybody must be involved. And if everybody must be involved, then government has, have to start funding wash comps. And wash comps have to have their own separate ministry and department. This is what we are battling with in Nigeria. Because they don't have their separate ministry. There's a budget. If there's anything we are doing, it's not working. It's not working. It's just very few individuals or international bodies that are sponsoring wash comps in Nigeria, including UNICEF. But, but there, if there is a separate ministry for this, you see that... Our activities will be very easy for us, and then we'll begin to get people on board. Thank you so much. I think I've made a, a presentation of the world. Thank you, all of you. I'm very glad. Thank you.